today we will learn resolve in last class we have learned the method of computations of reserve in this methods we have learned uh, area of influence method area of influence methods are of two types one is extended area another is included area today we will learn the computations of area uh, the samples when samples are not in on grid pattern in the in that case we will use the triangle methods for the calculations of reserves so this method is used when uh, sampling points are not in grid pattern it means in this diagram we have shown that this is the grid patterns and samples are not in grid patterns grid patterns means the interval between two bore holes or sampling points is constant uh, but in triangle methods samples are not on grid patterns these sample points are varies from one location to another location so there in this example we see here that there are five sample locations um, five bore holes have been drilled at five locations now we have to first compute compute the area so what can we do first we can do uh, make, make the triangle here we can see the, uh, uh, there are five triangles can be constructed by joining all the bore holes so first take it here this this is bore hole 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 so you can match this bore hole to this bore hole through a straight line this bore hole and this bore hole to those this board so so one triangle is completed here similarly another triangle is completed here similarly another com triangle is completed here here and here so how can we calculate the area of any triangle so this triangle area may be calculated on graph or other instrument is used for calculation of area is planimeter so area can be calculated either by graph or planimeter now what will be the width so here uh, <coughs> there are three bore holes that are the apex of triangles so uh, let us consider the width of the sample is here w1 here w2 and the w3 so take average that means w1 plus w2 plus w3 so in this way we can calculate the area let us say the area of triangle is a1 average width of triangle average width of triangle 1 is equal to w1 plus w2 plus w3 by 3 so volume of triangle 1 will be a1 bracket w1 plus w2 plus w3 by 3 so in this method we can we can learn to calculate the area and then by uh, averaging of width of concerning bore holes we can get the average width of triangle and in this way we can calculate the volume of the triangle similarly um, uh, volume of uh, triangle 2 3 4 5 can be calculated so this is all about the methods for calculating the volume of that sample that are not on grid pattern so this is all about the triangular methods for computations of reserve